Hello all. Uh, welcome back to Milo on the Ready. Uh, we've been having some fun lately. Um, yeah. Um, now it's been a while since it was in the news, but uh, and I checked several different sources on it, and the California Tomatoes Growers Association, or whatever they're called, um, was predicting that there would be a forty percent drop in the production of processing tomatoes. The Roma tomatoes, uh, these men mostly go into stewed tomatoes, uh, tomato paste, tomato sauce, uh, pasta sauces, things like that. So they are actually predicting a 40% drop in what will be on the shelves. So if normally there's 10 shelves of product there, they're predicting that there will only be six that will be full. So, with that in mind, I went ahead and bought some and canned tomatoes. So, I'm going to have some for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna, but if you watch the rest of this video, you'll see exactly how many I got out of it. So, stick around. Okay, so here we go. Um, I got about 36, 37 pounds of tomatoes here that I picked up from the store for about 69 cents a pound. Um, so, of course, this is where we're going to get started from. And then, of course, uh, the first thing that we have to do is get them into uh, boiling water so that the, uh, the skins will start to crack and be ready to be peeled off. Then next we have the water bathing so that the, the cooking process stops on them and uh, we're able to actually handle them and get them uh, peeled. Then next, of course, comes the, uh, the peeling of the tomatoes themselves. Uh, water was still a little warm, so using a spoon to get them out. And, uh, but everything's going quite well. A few of the peels did uh, stay on a little bit more difficult than others, but all in all, got most of the peels off of all of them. And then, of course, next came the uh, cutting and, and putting in jars, getting them ready to go into the pressure canner. Um, I decided to do these in their own juice, so you kind of press them down in there and let the juices come out of them until it fills the jar up to a half inch of head space before putting the lids on them. And then of course the last thing there is is uh, getting them canned and on the shelves. Um, did a total of 35 pints of tomatoes um, there's not uh, 28 of them are on this shelf right now the other seven were still in the canner but they're on the shelves now so as you can see we got a lot of tomatoes uh, actually canned over a 16 hour day uh, quite enjoyable and I know that I'm gonna have these for some time to come um, I will be breaking into a can of them pretty soon, just to make something with them, just, you know, know how they come out. Um, but it, it's worth, it's, canning has been something very worthwhile for me to learn. Um, I'm very surprised at people not really getting that into it right now. Um, I guess at some point they will, and it just turns, you know, when when food prices go up even more uh currently i looked at what it cost me versus what i can buy in the store right now and if i figure the price of, of each jar into the cost uh, then i break about even on the cost of what i could buy for in the stores other than uh, what you buy in the stores is slightly smaller so i'm getting a little bit more for the same price um, but eventually when when it's not available on the shelves that's when you really have to look at what you've put away it's going to be that much more valuable so with that i want you all to have a great day leave me some comments and your thoughts on this and stay safe out there